A calorie is a calorie is a calorie, right? Wrong. Very good. You guys are sharp. Not all calories are created equal. And I have a study to show you that. We had uh, people put into one of two diet groups for a two week stretch. Either they're on a processed food diet or an unprocessed food diet. Now by processed, it was simply chicken salad made with canned chicken. Well, that's not too bad, but jarred mayonnaise, relish, white bread, and peaches in heavy syrup, all that's very processed. The other group was on stir-fried beef with vegetables, basmati rice, and orange slices. Now the diets had about the same protein, fat, and carbohydrates and calories, but they were allowed to eat as much as they wanted. And what did they find? The processed food group ate 500 calories more that day. They gained two pounds in two weeks. The unprocessed food group lost two pounds in two weeks. Then they switched groups and the exact same thing happened. Now in my book, The Seven Systems Plan, in chapter one, I help you identify your food and find out what is processed, ultra processed, and what is real food and what you should be eating more of. This study was kind of interesting because they also looked at hormones and they found processed diets group people had lower levels of appetite suppressing hormone and higher levels of the hunger hormone ghrelin. Processed food messes up your hormones. So the results of the study, eating a diet made of processed food actually drives people to overeat and gain weight compared to a diet made up of whole or minimally processed food. My challenge for you today is to eat more real food. And if you want more information, check out my book or my course at drpatloose.com.